Here we are. Nice beat up old cast iron pan. It was sitting in the shed for a long time, over a year, um, because I just forgot it there. Um, shouldn't have done that. But anyway, I'm gonna clean it up and show you how to do it. Um, this one's a little rusty. There's cobwebs, there's some, some mice poop in there, but we're gonna get it back to new, hopefully. First thing I'm starting out with is a Scotch-Rite pad. Um, made out of copper. You could also use tin foil, works pretty good too, but I'm gonna go with this one for this. So guys, the first step I am taking to get this cast iron pan back to normal is getting some hot water in there, scrubbing it around real good, getting all that mouth poop out of there, and taking that copper, the uh, scotch bright pad in there, and just scrubbing it away. You can see all that rust and that water just getting out of there. And yeah, so the scotch bright pad works great, tin foil works great. Um, you probably could get away with some sort of scraper, like a plastic scraper, but this is what I ended up using it in, and it turned out good. I scrubbed the whole inside and then the bottom of it as well because there was the rust on there too, and that scotch bright pad just brings that rust right up. I went through the process of scrubbing and cleaning with hot water and soap a few times. Um, so just know that if it all doesn't come up the first time, just keep on scrubbing. Put some elbow grease into it and you will get that pan clean. Once I scrubbed as much as I could, I took it out of the sink, put it on a paper towel, just put it on a towel and wiped everything I could with a paper towel. All right, now that we got it scrubbed with that uh, copper Brillo pad, um, it actually came out a lot better than I thought, which looks pretty good. There's still a little bit of rust on it, but using some canola oil, you could use flaxseed oil, which works really good because it evaporates. And I'm gonna take a couple teaspoons of uh, canola oil on each side. I'm gonna rub it all in there real good with a paper towel, and then I'm gonna pop it in the oven real hot at 500 degrees for 20 to 30 minutes and let all that water evaporate and then I'll season it again. Once you apply your oil, you're gonna to want to get every inch of that pan nice and thick of oil and then what I like to do is put a bunch on and then come back with a nice dry paper towel and wipe off the excess. You're gonna to want to get the handle good, um, the bottom, the top, everywhere. This nice even coat of oil. All right, I think I did something wrong. It's way too hot and there's smoke everywhere. So I just took it out and let it sit there, put the hood vent on. I'm gonna reassess this tomorrow. So we're back here, the cast iron pan. As you saw last time, the room filled up with smoke and it, it didn't end well. I think I put too much oil in or didn't use the right oil, but I did some more research and I bought this flax oil. So I did it with canola oil first, but I'm gonna do it with this. And the reason why this is better is because it has a much lower uh, burning point. So it like burns off with like much less heat, which I think is gonna be better. So I'm gonna season it with this flax oil. Just do rub it down, throw it back in the oven around 350 400 degrees let it sit in there for maybe 45 minutes to an hour pull it out and hopefully we have a nice seasoned cast iron pan that we can go cook lunch on so um yeah we're gonna break this bad boy open smells good after you coat your pan with oil nice and thick and wipe off the excess you're gonna pop it in the oven and 
Give it about 30 to 40 minutes in the oven on high heat. I first time I did it was 500 degrees. It was way too high. I would recommend 350 to 400. We're gonna let that chill out in the oven and uh, give it some time and pull it out and do one more application, but hopefully it doesn't get all smoky like the last time because that was that wasn't good. I wouldn't recommend doing that. We have the pan cast iron. She's looking pretty good. Took her out, let her cool down for about an hour. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some more flax oil and I'm just going to season it one more time, paper towel, about two tablespoons in there, maybe a little more. Rub it all in there nicely on the inside. And then I'm just going to pop it on the uh, the cook time. Put it on high. I'm going to put it on high for maybe a minute or so and just let that uh, burn off and she should be ready to go. So it is currently January 2nd, uh, snowing in South Jersey, which is doesn't happen often. So I figured since I got the cast iron pan all nice and going, I'm gonna go out and find a nice spot to cook a good meal in the snow. Um, I'm pretty excited, but yeah, it's like 10 inches of snow, it's crazy. Fun to drive in and uh, we're just cruising right now, I'm gonna find a cool spot. I just realized oh, I just realized I forgot a vital piece of equipment a lighter which I do not have so that pretty much means everything I was gonna do is just done 
Maybe we'll just cook it at home. How about that? So now that we got a nice full stomach from a nice steak and some vegetables and the cast iron pan is ready to be put away. Obviously you can't put it away like that, you know. So what we're gonna do is take a little water, just a little bit, a little soap. And mix her around. It's still really hot. Maybe you should let it cool down a little bit, but anyway, I'm gonna not do that and struggle a little bit with this. And once it's seasoned, right, you really don't have to worry about things sticking to it too much. It all just kind of comes right off. Right, and the next thing, take towel, dry it off as best as possible. And what I'm going to do next, put it back on the stove, where is it, take a little bit of my flax oil and paper towel. And just do like, maybe like one, two tablespoons in there, row it all around really good. And I'll just put it on high heat for like maybe like a minute, two minutes. You'll see it kind of start to smoke a little bit and that'll be um, everything, the water and everything evaporating out of it. And then just let it cool down and you're good to go. Your cast iron pan will love you forever. If you do what I told you, not the first step. I don't know what happened there. It got really smoky and it wasn't good. But everything after that first step went really well. So anyway, hope you really enjoyed this video. Please like, please subscribe, and check out what I'm going to be doing next. And um, so, yeah, I'll see you guys next time.